Hey guys, welcome back to Milk and Cookies Total War. I am Indie Pride, and today we're doing some more Trials of Zinch, where I go into a random multiplayer lobby and hope beyond hope that Zinch gives me a random generated army that I can actually utilize to its fullest potential and use my fantastic micro skill to hopefully carry me to victory. So this is what Zinch has saw fit to give me a lot of cav and a lot of mobility and not very much infantry whatsoever and no armor piercing against the Warriors of Chaos. So that could end up being an issue, but I do have a lot of mobility like I said, so hopefully these Blood Knights and Black Knights can do some work for me. I'll kind of use these Black Knights as a infantry line a little bit, kind of just throw them up the center and hope that's enough to uh, tie down the enemy while I raise some dead behind the enemy lines and surround use my fear and terror to get some chain routing going. I also have the Lamian Seductress, the Countess who has a special ability called Seduction, which will freeze a unit in place and do damage to them. So that should be a pretty useful ability. Don't want to be using that when another of my infantry or cab is engaging that unit though, because it will do damage to my own units as well. So what I'm going to do here is get a zombie in the front line. Get some Crypt Ghouls there, they'll be imbuing some poison, which should be nice. And then my Sternsman, and keep the Lamian Countess nearby because she will have to raise dead on the front line if I want to have any hope of tying down the Warriors of Chaos long enough to survive in this infantry engagement. I'm going to get wrecked in the infantry fight, no question, but can I tie them down and use the cab to its fullest potential? We'll find out soon enough. So I'm going to go combination here between some Black Knights and Blood Knights. We'll go... These guys will be one control group, and then these guys will be another. Do Black Knights have? They have armor piercing. Okay, so I think I want to put one of them over there, and then we'll go... These uh, Black Knights, just regular ones, will be kind of that infantry engagement, like that I'll just throw them into the center and hope they can grind them down. But the Black Knights with Lances and Barding, and the Blood Knights especially, will be the, the real hammer and anvil threat. So, get rid of these, and... Get a control group over here. And then we'll have a dire wolf out there. And that should be good. So the dire wolf will absorb the charge of the chaos knights or whatever he's brought as cavalry. And then I'll swoop in with the blood knights and hopefully rip them up in melee with the bonus first large. So we'll keep actually one black knight closer to the main line. I'm really exhausted by the way. I was up last all last night doing that Scaven Legendary Lord video, and I'm going away for the weekend, so I'm trying to stockpile some footage uh, with Trials of Zinch, some live commentary, just so I can have something to upload while I'm gone. But uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, I think I might have... I am playing on Steel Faith Overhaul right now, so... I think that Steel Faith is actually probably better for Trials of Zinch, because there are more units that have, like, pretty much anything that's useless in the vanilla game actually has some kind of use in Steel Faith, so I think it might be more fun and definitely getting to uh, use these new lords should be a, a good time as well. So good luck, have fun to Vegeta, and let's uh, get into the game. So let's see what he's rocking with. He's got Chaos Marauders in the front lines, Chaos Warhounds of Poison on the flanks, Chaos Knights, he's gone for a very compact formation. Forsaken, chosen with Halberds and Marauder Horsemasters. All right. So he's gonna just try to grind me down in that melee fight and basically just operate as a big blob. I was trying to record this exact same game beforehand, but I got some gigantic frame rate drops because I hadn't updated my drivers, so I had to uh, restart the game. And unfortunately, he's now changed his tactics. He was more spread out in the last game, and that would have been a lot easier for my cab to uh, make a big impact. Of course, he's completely changed his uh, deployment in this one. It'll be harder for my cab to make the impact that I want it to, but that is also going to leave him open to some juicy wind of death potentially so might be able to punish him there pretty heavily we'll see soon enough cab going out to the flanks we're going to get another black knight unit there and then send those out to the flank blood knights and dire wolves going around the side don't want to send all your cab around because then he can just focus his chosen with halberds in the back lines i want to have kind of cab positioned all over the place and that will kind of spread it out and make it so he can't just immediately um, charge in with his cab or or get his chosen halberds in a good spot. You can't cover the whole line if I have my cab all over the battlefield. So looks like his uh, Chaos Marauders are going to move up now. And once that happens, I can start moving up as well. I think I should be able to raise dead in his back lines. 
and rip them up. But he does have the Forsaken there, so I don't want to do it right away. I want to get those zombies behind the Forsaken, first and foremost. Get the Dire Wolves back. Blood Knight's going to go around. And we're going to send the Black Knights in. I can, oh, I can kill that Forsaken real easy. And now we're going to start raising some dead. So let's get into melee. Got a good charge in on the Forsaken. Mm, let's see. Oh, God, yes. I have a good idea here. I see something juicy about to happen. Need to get them the hell out, though. Alright. Yeah, you guys know what it is. Wind of death time, boys. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a big wind of death right there. Let's kill those. My cab engagement is not going perfectly here. Oh, let's get the cab out because I charged some chosen with halberds. Raise some more dead in the back lines. Yeah, that hurt him real bad. That hurt him real bad. Zombies in the back. He got really blobbed up, which is not what you want to do against the vampire counts because wind of death will punish you very heavily. And now I can get some fear auras going in there. Maybe curse of years or some kind of morale penalty. Here would be good. Actually, I'll just invocation in the heck this blob. Uh, we're gonna use that on the chosen with halberds. And see if we can chart. Okay, they're just gonna back up. This cab engagement's not going as well as I would have liked it to. I'm gonna pull, just pull everything out if I can. And we're gonna charge into the Chaos Lord. I can't beat him in melee, but I can get. Undead Resurgent off on a lot of my infantry. And Blood Knights, keep charging the back. Keep cycle charging. Let's get my cab over here. Get the Black Knights out of there and keep raising the dead. So I need to get those Chaos Marauders the Great Opens off the front line. I'm definitely starting to lose on my left flank. And my Winds of Magic pool is actually pretty low at this point. Got a good rear charge from the Blood Knights there. Need to get her out of there. She's in a kind of precarious position at the moment. Chaos Warhounds with Poison going down. Sternsman looking very healthy on the front line. Blood Knights not looking as healthy though. The uh... I'm gonna get some more raised dead. Yeah, my cab engagement was nowhere near as good as I would have liked it to be. Unfortunately. And things are not actually looking fantastic for me at the moment. But I did get my Blood Knights into his Marauder Horse Masters. What is that? Oh, Flamestorm. Oh, that did some serious damage actually. I'm out of I'm out of mana. It's not good. We're going to try Seduction. We're going to show our, our boobs to uh, the Chaos Knights here and get them frozen. Frozen in awe at that perfect body. Uh, things are starting to look a little bad for me. Blood Knight's up to 78 kills. We're going to go run down those Forsaken real quick. And then charge the Crypt Ghouls in. Maybe that Wind of Death didn't do quite enough damage. Kind of surprised how poorly the Blood Knights are doing over there. I thought they would shred those Marauder Horse Masters better than they have. Sternsmen, they're surrounding the Chaos Lord. I don't know if that's really where I want them, though. I think she needs to run into melee and start doing, going to work. I'm in, bad, I'm in bad shape at this point. He still has almost a full strength unit of Chaos Knights with Lances. I was hoping that Wind of Death would be enough there it was not and i think i have to kill the lord if i want to win this game here heals would have probably been better so 
we're gonna charge into the Chaos Lord. Blood Knights trying their best. They're actually killing quite a lot. Another big burning head will stop the regen of the Sturmsmen for a little bit. We're gonna use Seduction on the Chaos Knights. I don't know how much damage that does. Hopefully it's a lot, because I need it really bad. He has too much infantry left. Pull out. Get out of there. Yeah, I can kill the Chaos Sorcerer pretty easily. Let's charge into the Forsaken with the Blood Knights. Good charge into the flank, but it's not going to be enough, and now they're tied down, and I can't really do anything about that. I'm going to lose this game. Unfortunate. Yeah, the start of the uh, the last match I played with this setup was better, because he was a lot more spread out, and I could have utilized the cab to his... Like, I got some frontal charges with the Forsaken, but he went a lot more uh, blobby there, which in some cases is good for me, right? Because I can then easily raise dead behind his lines and get a big win of death off. But at the same time, the problem with that, it means it's a lot easier for the Chosen with Halberds to protect his infantry. And to protect his Forsaken from cab charges, which I didn't really manage to get off. So he kind of stopped me in that one, unfortunately. But uh, it was a pretty good game. So let's see here. Yeah, he had 413 left. I didn't kill that many. My, the cab engagement over on this side was pretty poor. And I, I kind of needed to win on the flanks with my cab advantage if I wanted to win this game. It was good of him to bring the Chosen with Halberds out there. And it, yeah, those Chosen with 148 kills, that is a lot. So GG. And hope you guys enjoyed that. So, what could I have changed there? Well, it would have been ideal if he didn't know exactly what build I had. I knew what he had as well, but it was easier to count an all, a counter an all-cav army, and he did it well with his formation there. Those Forsaken, I had absolutely no answer to whatsoever, and my infantry just wasn't going to be able to trade very cost-efficiently against Forsaken and Chaos Warriors with Grow Weapons, and he managed to do a very good job with his Chaos Warhounds with Poison out on the flanks and the Chaos Knights. Uh, his Marauder Horsemasters did absolutely nothing, but they didn't need to with his infantry carrying the day and the Chaos Knights doing really well against my Blood Knights. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll be bringing you some more Trials of Zinch very soon. See you guys next time.